everyone, Michael Belong to episode 9 of the Traction My Team Career Mode on F1 2020. My name is Alex Gillen and today we have got the Japanese Grand Prix around the famous Suzuka circuit but more importantly we have got a chance to win the Drivers' Championship in our very first ever season the traction my team career mode unbelievable i don't know how we've even got a chance to do this on 110 ai but somehow we've managed to blag our way here and uh go and watch the previous episodes if you haven't already um just so before i ruin the results here are the results and uh well you can see we managed to win last time out and the fastest lap in in monza the championship was starting to slide away from us a little bit but with the uh, hamilton retirement and then our win suddenly two races completely turned around and we're right back in it, more than right back in it, because as you can see, we are, what is it, 38, 38 points ahead of Max Verstappen with just two races to go. There's a maximum of 52 points available, and we're 38 points ahead. Honestly, at this point, it's likely we're going to win the championship. Realistically, Max Verstappen needs to win at least one of the remaining races, ideally both, and then we need to score barely any points. And although we did have that blip, in uh, Silverstone. But other than that, our worst result this season is P5. So that's quite unlikely, but we do need to do the business. So let's run through quickly then some scenarios. So if Max Verstappen manages to win, we'd need to be, I think, P3, maybe P4 with fastest lap. If Max Verstappen gets P2, we'd need to be, I believe it's P7. And if Max Verstappen only gets P3, we only need to be P9. So that sure, that sure scenarios that you'll need. Realistically, Max is unlikely to finish, I would say, outside the top three. So uh, realistically, we're going to be looking for a podium, ideally, just to make guarantee it. But is he going to beat the Mercedes? Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, uh, let's look at the Constructors then. There they are. So we're still a fair chunk of points back from Mercedes in the Constructors Championships. But we're level on points with Racing Point. Can we maybe take P3 in the Constructors Championships? Not today. So we're not going to concentrate on that one for now. It's all about the Drivers' Championships. Uh, as for the current drive, the car performance then, oh, let's look at the performance tree. Um, and as you can see, we have managed to complete a uh, minor engine power update on the left hand side there, one of the purple ones. We've also completed a minor uh, ERS update, which will mean we've got a bit more ERS to use. Uh, we've also completed a minor rear downforce update, the blue one on the bottom there. Uh, and unfortunately, though, our major weight reduction update has failed as you can see that red x there so that will be on the car though ready for the season finale but it did fail for this one the orange ones there are just because there's a season change there's a rule change for next season but obviously we're only doing one season of this for the launch of f1 2021 so not gonna matter too much other than that we're also developing another minor engine power update on the left hand side there which hopefully should be on the car ready in time for the next race finally then that is where we stand at the moment. So actually back down to P6 uh, in terms of car performance. Um, we had, a, we had, you saw there, what was it? Three updates or so to the car, fairly substantial. But Alpha Tauri somehow have outdeveloped us race to race. There was quite a big gap between the races, which is why everybody has had a fair chunk of updates. But we're down to P6 again in the standings. So uh, hopefully that'll be enough. Although we've kind of lost ground a little bit, we still had some decent updates. Overall, I'd say we're probably a similar sort of distance to the, to the front running guys. Actually gained a little bit on Ferrari, so we'll see how that plays out. But for now, let's get into quali for the Japanese Grand Prix. Here we go then, qualifying for the Japanese Grand Prix. The all-important qualifying. If we, we want to win the championship, realistically, we need to be, well, scoring some solid points today. So let's hope we can be somewhere vaguely, not even in the front, just in the top 10 if we can. In P1 coming into Turn 1, that is the live... Uh, position in the top left there. So keep an eye on that one. That one's P2, P3, P4 on the exit as we're now going to struggle a little bit more as we have only got the sixth fastest car. Although we have got the third most downforce, we've got the second worst chassis on the grid. So that's P14 now coming through the S's. Not a big surprise really on the exit. Just touched the inside curb there. So I had a bit of a confidence lift on the exit just because I did touch that curb and I was a bit worried about getting some oversteer. Throwing it in in seventh gear there and uh, getting also down nicely using the curb on the X. It's been a pretty solid lap so far, I will say, but only P13. So I think this might be the position of our car at the moment. Going a little bit hot there. I was trying to make up some time on the brakes there because I know that is the AI 
I'm not great through there and I'm pretty good through there. So I was trying to make up some time to try and sneak, see if I can sneak into the top 10. It has worked though up to P11 even though I went in a little bit deep. Through spoon curve now then down to 6th gear, nailing the curve and a bit of grass as well. Right out wide on the curve, down to 4th gear. Very slightly missed my apex but getting on the power nice and early using all the curve on the exit. Down to P13 once again though. Let's hope our straight line speed down this long, long straight down through 130R can help us. Of course 130R easily flat with a modern forward one car now even taking a bit of curb in this game. Eight tenths off pole, not too far off pole actually, but breaking hard now, getting it also down a little bit deep though, into the final chicane, nailing all of the curb, very close to getting a track limits warning there and disallowed lap. We managed to avoid it up to P11 on the exit and we do indeed take P11 on the grid. Solid, that is solid. That means we can start with a free choice of tyres of course because we're not in the top 10. I'll take a P11. That's not too bad. We can work forwards from there. Uh, from experience with my own uh, career mode on my own YouTube channel, I know that qualifying AI are pretty good around here, but race, they're not so good. So we can hopefully make some progress in the race. And let's go on board now with Live Alex for the start of the Japanese Grand Prix. So here we go then on the grid for what could be our championship winning race. Amazing. One race early. All we need to do is lose less than 12 points to Max Verstappen. Strategy wise then, we're going to start on the mediums. We qualify P11, that gives us a free choice. We're going to start on the mediums. We're going to go for a bit of, bit of a different strategy today. I shouldn't need to score big points unless Verstappen wins, um, but I still want to go for a kind of alternative strategy and see if we make something happen. So we're going to start on the mediums, then we're going to go to the softs. It is a little bit marginal on tyre wear. As you can see, we've already got one, one kind of lap uh, gap there that we, we can, uh, pit window I should say. Uh, also, we're going to under fuel the car a little bit by about half a lap or so, because it's Suzuka. We should be able to save a fair bit of fuel and also may well be a safety car, which help us both in terms of tyre wear and in terms of fuel. So let's get into it then from P11 on the grid. Everyone in front of us is going to be on softs. Most people behind us are on uh, uh, softs as well. Here we go. Beautiful start. Beautiful start. Can we sneak up the inside of this racing point here? I think we're three wide though. I don't really want to be. Oh God. You break very early there. Back down to that really, really early. Got a warning for that. But doesn't matter. Up to P8 then. That surprised me there how early he braked. I almost uh, had a bit of a crash there because of it. But up to P8 on the medium tyres. Which is great news. Remember, everyone ahead is on soft tyres. They will start to wear really quite quickly. Side by side up ahead. Can we capitalise on this to sneak past someone? Side by side through here. They're going to be slow. Oh, I still got to carry really good speed actually through there. Surprisingly. So, going to leave it for now. But no, they are no longer side by side. I think from now it is going to be all about... Oh, that was close. Really had to break hard there to avoid a bit of overseer as well on the exit. The clerk is falling back a little bit. I expect he's been battling as well. Side by side once again ahead. Oh, a little bit of contact, but luckily it was only minor contact. Another bit of contact there with Kvyat up ahead. Let's hope we didn't get any damage from that. We didn't indeed. That was lucky. A little bit of minor contact. Probably could have sent up the inside there, but it took me by surprise. I didn't want to have a bit of a collision once again. So again, though, if we can just stick with these guys, we're doing well. P8 may well be enough to win us a championship, providing Max Verstappen is third or lower. At the moment, he's P2, though. So at the moment, we'll need to probably, trying to work it out off the top of my head, probably another, probably at least one more position. P7 might be enough. So uh, let's just try and stick with these guys for now. Well, actually, let's just stick with it for now, because I might be able to send one here on Kvyat. Depends how early he breaks. He breaks pretty early. So we go for a late dive bomb up to P7 is then. This may well be enough to take the championship. It's going to be all about the live calculations. But let's just try and stick with these guys now. Once they start battling, they'll be able to pick up some speed. Let's try and stick with them and wait for their tyres to go off a little bit more. Okay, we'll be able to stick really nicely with these guys. They've just bunched up a little bit more, though. Make sure we're even closer. We should get... DRS, here we go, yes, DRS from this lap, probably not going to overtake them, because of course they've all got DRS, but they're going to be battling ahead, could that give us some impetus, maybe, I don't really know, we're closing in, but right at the wrong time, hard to get past there, oh, almost contact again, very, very close, Vettel going wide, that one backed off a little bit, I think, cost us a little bit of time, but maybe, here, Ricardo might just pull away from Vettel now, and then maybe we can sneak past him as well, Vettel does not seem very fast at the moment, Let's see what we can do here. Sticking with them quite nicely though as their tyres go off more and more. We should have better pace to them relatively as the race goes on. Because their tyres will be more, more and more worn than ours. Higher percentage of wear compared to us as the race wears on. Big snap of oversteer there. Hopefully we're okay. We've got some DRS still. I think we're going to be okay. But a bit of a shaky moment. Just trying to stick with these guys for now. I'm not being too aggressive. Trying to save up some ERS. Well, I'm doing a very good job of that. But uh, trying to save up some fuel which I'm doing a good job of. Just sort of trying to stick with them, really. Try not to be too aggressive, because if we can get up to P4, which is Ricardo, which we can see just three cars ahead, we can get up to there. If P1 retires and Max Verstappen ends up winning this race, we still win the championship. So the only threat, really, for losing it then would be if Max Verstappen could win the championship all on his own over the Mercedes out in P1, which feels unlikely at the moment. He is falling back a little bit from the Mercedes in P1. So 
Let's see what can happen. But at the moment, just trying to get to the head of this little pack here. As I said, that'll almost, almost guarantee us the championship unless my staff, Max Verstappen could do something really special. Very, very close to Albon here. Very tempted to use a lot of ERS and have a go here. It's not a great corner to overtake on, but... Oh, barely close enough. Well, I'm going to go for it. Just got to take my moves when I can. Got in very deep there. Real dive bomb. We've got it Got it done. Up to P6 now. Two more cars to go. Oh, a bit of oversteer on the exit. That could be a warning. It is a warning. And run out of ERS now. Though we've rinsed a lot of it. We're only just clinging on to the DRS of Vettel. We are going to get it. Not much ERS. Was that worth it? Let's try and stick with Vettel now. Save up our ERS. Ready to fend off. Any, of the, any uh, attacks on us or potentially even attack if an opportunity like that comes up. And again, but we do really now just need to save some ERS quite desperately. We're up to P6 for now. Okay, I'm really now feeling like I'm being held up by these guys. Do I try the same move on Vettel that I did on Albon? Oh, again, it just feels a bit risky, but we're going to go for it. Actually got a slightly better straight line speed over Vettel. And that one, squeeze him out now. Move done. Up to P5, nice and easy. But again, I feel like I'm being held up by the pack here. Not just by Vettel. So let's make sure we get DRS on Ricardo to start with. Can we even get him straight away here? And he's lots of ERS on this straight just to try and creep up to him. Because again, I feel like I'm quicker at the moment. Probably got much better tyre wear than them. Let's see if we can get him on this DRS straight. He's, of course, not going to get DRS. Bit of a still on the exit for him. He boxes. He boxes. That was a great time to overtake. Then it turns out he boxes. So do some other cars. The leaders don't, interestingly. So whoever that... Uh, Hamilton... In the pits, is he going to be able to overcut, undercut rather? Verstappen and take that position. That could help us. Remember, it's Verstappen. is the only real threat in the championship at the moment. Let's see if we can now build that one second gap to Vettel to keep him out of DRS. Comfortable. Comfortably a second up. 1.3 even. We're also on for our fastest lap of the race here. If we can navigate this final chicane relatively well. I think this would stay as the fastest lap as that's a nice clean lap. With these tyres, no DRS at all, of course. So... A lot of the guys are now boxing. Not everyone, interestingly, but a lot of people are boxing. We've got 40% tyre all round where we want it to be. 2.3 seconds now to the car behind. We resume. Well, not resume. We take the lead of this race. Again, it's all about Verstappen, though. Let's just try and have as clean race as we can now. Pushing as hard as we can. See what's going to happen with Verstappen. We could still win the championship here. We want to score some solid points. That is what we needed. Come on, let's keep it up. Let's have some good pace. Okay, the last two cars behind box. Just notice our teammate. It's now up into P4, will be P2. He, of course, started on the medium tyres, just like we did. Suspect he'll box for hard pretty soon, if he doesn't already. Uh, he doesn't yet. So, at the moment, we're running 1-2 in this race, the Traction GG team. Incredible. But the most importantly, though, he's holding up Bottas. Uh, looks like uh, Magnussen was holding up Verstappen, but he's now got through. Remember, if Verstappen wins this race, we need a podium. We need to beat one of the Mercedes if Verstappen can win this race. Although, it's kind of good that our teammate is holding up one of the Mercedes in, in, in the in the what will be the race leader Bottas. It's actually not very good for us potentially because Verstappen could catch him and overtake him, and then that could we could not win the championship today potentially. But even if we don't win it today, we take a look like taking good points. So we need to concentrate regardless because if we don't win it today, we're almost guaranteed to win it in the next race if we can score some solid points like we are looking doing at the moment. But as I said, a bit of traffic at the moment in the form of our teammate. Let's see how that kind of plays with what all the, re the results will be in this race. Okay, so a little sit rep then. Mick is indeed holding up Bottas still. And Verstappen is now right on the back of Bottas. Don't really want Verstappen to win this race. He's our only championship rival at the moment. Quite a bit faster than those guys, I think. So, not too upset. It may allow us to win the race, but pretty unlikely. No other traffic for our main rivals. It's not going to make a big difference for any of those guys, unfortunately. Pit windows in two laps. Uh, teammate boxes, which almost certainly yeah, does mean he goes in hards. That is our tyre wear. 50% at the moment all round. That's not too bad still. Two laps to go. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. So we've done well on tyres. Oh, got a little bit wide there. We'll be coming in for the softs at the end. Don't forget, which should make us very, very quick. All our rivals behind have gone for hard. Actually, for Verstappen has gone for mediums. I've just noticed he's gone for alternative strategy. Is he going to be able to get straight past Bottas here? He may well do. Is he going to win this race on merit after, after all? And then are we going to have to get a podium in order to win it today? Quite possibly. This is really spicing up, but two more laps to go. Let's just stay on it. Do the best pace we possibly can. See what happens when we get to the soft tyres. We're almost certainly going to come out behind our rivals that we were battling before. The, the Renault, Red Bull and Ferrari. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we're boxing this lap then. That is as scheduled. 70% worse tyre wear. 
Don't want to go above 75%. Otherwise, you risk a puncture, so not going to do that. Guys, I have closed in, but interestingly, Hamilton not got a good pace in P4. And Albon on the mediums is not that far behind him. Could we even take a podium on merit today? Maybe. Verstappen's still behind Bottas for now. I haven't actually practiced his pit in. This could be fun. Wasn't too bad. Going to go for new soft tyres. So we're going to be surely the fastest car on track when we come back out. But where do we come back out? That is the question. Look at that big pack there. You've got Hamilton, then Albon, then a Ferrari of some kind. Don't know which one. But that is... We, oh, no. No, no. We messed that up. We messed that up. It cost us probably a second there. That is not ideal. So we'll be behind Hamilton for sure. Looks like behind the Red Bull and Ferrari. Let's try and get ahead of the Renault though if we can. We can indeed. We're going to be ahead of that Renault quite comfortably. Tell you what, without that mistake though, in the pit stop, we may well have been ahead of the two cars ahead. Wasn't meant to be. P6 for now, which is, is enough to win the championship, providing Verstappen does not get Bottas for the lead. But he's all over him on softer tyres. That could well happen. So we need to try and push now. If we can get up to the podium, we'll win the championship even if... Uh, even if a stop and win. So that is our target. For now, let's just get up to speed on these tyres. Get up to the cars ahead. Overtake them as quickly as possible so we can use the pace in these tyres. I'm going to use everything I've got here. See if we can get the clerk straight away. In fact, we've used a bit too much. We're going to be all over him through 130. Our purple middle sector, not that surprising. We're going to go on the outside. We're going to have to go on the outside. Get it stopped nicely. A little bit of contact there. He goes in a little bit deep, but we've got it stopped nicely. Let's see if we can get Albon straight away as well. To try and use up the, as much pace as we've got. We're a little way back. We haven't got DRS, of course. Oh, we better get him. I'm feeling like we're too far back. Or maybe not. I forgot we've got a bit of a rocket ship in a straight line. He's going to defend, but it's not going to matter. Two positions then in two corners. Up to P4. Lewis Hamilton is up next. Only 1.8 seconds away. If we get him, we win the championship. No matter what happens. Verstappen's still in P2 for now anyway. But I want to try and cover off the risk. Can we get a podium from P11 on the grid today to take the championship? What a race that will be. Come on, let's push up to Hamilton now. Gonna go with the fastest lap here. Not quite gonna get DRS on Hamilton rather annoyingly. Don't think so anyway, but gonna go for the fastest lap anyway. Use a lot of ERS, a lot of fuel, but hopefully it'll be worth it for the extra point. Shouldn't matter to be honest now, the extra point, but it is indeed the fastest lap of the race. Let's hope that stands. We need to save quite a bit of fuel now, actually. We are well within DRS range of Hamilton now, which we won't get for a whole another lap, of course, but only eight laps left to go. And we have 0.3 laps lighter fuel. Let's really save now. I'll stick him with Hamilton. Get his DRS. Let's save some fuel while we can. And take the P3. Verstappen, though, still in P2 for now. Okay, we've managed to save the fuel. Do we push for it on Hamilton now? I think we do. I think we just try and nail him. We're running out of laps here. We don't want to run out of tyres towards the end as well and not be able to get him. He's so quick in a straight line, look. We're going to need to absolutely nail him somewhere. We managed to save up the fuel. Not much ERS, though, for now. Oh, a little bit deep in there. Just trying to get him through here if I can. Okay, exit. Can we get him here? We're only three tenths away with some DRS and some ERS. We're not going to have much ERS to use. Can we get him? Maybe. We're going to be close for P3 and for the guaranteed championship. There it is. There it is. If we can hold on to this P3 now, that is the championship. The championship is ours. We still need to save a little bit of fuel and a little bit of ERS now. Let's hope we can hold off Hamilton and try and pull away as quickly as we can to stop him being able to re-attack us. Take the championship. Come on. We've got it over a second. We've got it over a second. We've used even more ERS <coughs> and fuel that lap. But I wanted to get him out of my DRS zone. Verstappen's still for now sitting in P2. But still all over Bottas. So could still get him. But let's just try and take this pole now. 1.3 seconds. A nice big gap now. And my engineer just telling me my control electronics is pretty worn. We already know that. I'll check through that in just a second. But for now, let's just try and pull the gap to Hamilton without using too much more resources. Uh, where are we looking? There you go. 75% on the control electronics, which is very, very high wear. But couldn't do a lot about it, unfortunately. But it's not going to matter. This race should be our championship winning race. All we have to do is hold on to P P3 now. Let's hope we've got the pace with Hamilton on Hamilton without using much ERS and, and fuel. Let's wait and see now. Just four more laps to go. Come on. Stappen all over Bottas. If he's, if he's ever going to get him. It'll be now. Let's look on the mini-map while I'm driving this corner. Is he going to get him? It's going to be pretty close. That Mercedes. And I tell you what. He's got him. He's only gone and got him. Verstappen's up to P1. We need this podium to win the championship. Good job we pushed for it. He's got up to P1. Unbelievable. He's going to win this race on pure merit. So we need to get this championship on pure merit by get, securing his P3. A nice two-second gap now to Lewis Hamilton. I assume Verstappen will probably be able to pull away from Bottas, to be honest, with those medium tyres. <clears throat> but let's just try and keep this gap to Hamilton out. This P3 is all that matters. 
Okay, Hamilton is now closing in on us. They're doing their usual push for the fastest lap at the end of the race thing. Only 1.4 away now. It was a reasonable lap from us as well. We've been able to save up a little bit of ERS and a little bit of fuel. Should hopefully be enough to see us through. Interestingly, Bottas has closed back up on Verstappen, but I think that'll be race over now. They're not going to get a DRS chance. The same for Hamilton behind us, of course. He's not really going to get a DRS chance now. So it's just about keeping it on the black stuff to take this championship in the first ever season for the Traction GG team. Unbelievable. I didn't think it was possible to win a Drivers' Championship in the first season of a My Team Career Mode on F1 2020. Definitely not on 110 AI, but at the moment we're on for it. We're on for it. Let's just keep our cool. We've only had one warning in this race, corner cut warning. So we've got one of those in the bag. And look, Hamilton is now only seven tenths away. He's really pushing for his fastest lap. But in doing that, is he going to be able to sneak past us and rob us of the championship chance? Surely not. Surely we've got enough for everything now to defend. I'm not going to use too much here because he's not close enough. We'll save a little bit of it for the back straight. <clears throat> Our tyres, of course, starting to be a little bit secondhand. Is uh, would now be fresh on us, I imagine, on the hard tyres. Okay, spoon curve, not bad, not bad. Probably good enough. He look how close he is, though. Surely he can't get us. 67%, 68% where he is very close, but luckily we saved it. We needed it. He's only two tenths back. We needed that fuel and that ERS. If we didn't have that, he probably would have been right with us right now. Thankfully we had it. Just one more chicane to go. Come on, come on. Nice and tidy through here. No mistakes now. And there it is then. We come across the line to take P3 and with it, the Drivers' Drive. Championship. Glad I worked it out. Thank you, Jeff, for confirming. I would have been a bit distraught there if I'd worked it out wrong. Wow. <clears throat> I was thinking Verstappen will be second, maybe third. Somewhere around there. So I would just need to score, you know, sixth maybe. Didn't see him being able to win that race. Didn't see us being able to get a podium either. Both of those things happened. We took it in style. We're up on the podium. A few burnouts there on the runoff area in the final corner. We don't want to see Red Bull celebrations. We want to see Traction GG celebrations. There we go. Let's go. Drivers World Champion in the very first season of the Traction My Team career mode. Unbelievable. Unbelievable scenes. Let's go. I'm over the moon with that. I am over the moon with that. What a season we've just had, guys. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, go back and watch them now. Pretty much every race has been a banger. There's been a couple of kind of slightly more dull ones, but like 90% of them have been bangers. 27-3, we do indeed take the fast lap by only two tenths, by the way, in the end. So that was uh, closer than I'd like it to have been. Let's have a look at the standings then for confirmation. I'm just going to... I'm just going to hide myself here so you can see them. There you go. 29 points in the end <clears throat> to Max Verstappen with the fastest lap point, of course, coming in and making a difference. So comfortable. He can only score a maximum of 26 points. Constructors Championship-wise, I'll tell you what, we hold on to P3 for now. 10 points now. 10 points between Racing Point and us. Can we maybe hold P3 in the Constructors? That is what will still happen, but there's the confirmation of the results there you couldn't see before because my sweaty face which is now back, was hiding it. Well, join next time, guys, for the Constructors' Championship decider. Well, not the Championship decider, but the P3 decider. It'd be unbelievable to both win a Drivers' Championship and a Constructors, or and P3 in the Constructors in the first season. Mick, as always, didn't perform very well. Down in 15th there. Uh, I don't think he's scored a single point this season, has he? No, he hasn't. He hasn't scored a single point, while we scored 165 points. That is some late game OP for you. This is indeed 110 AI. And uh, somehow we've just taken the championship. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. Don't forget to join me next time to find out if we can hold on to P3 in the Constructors' Championship. Keep it pinned and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.